Hey guys, welcome back to part two on how to sell your car like a pro for the most money with the least amount of hassles. This is the second video in a series of videos that I'm doing and I'm going to break down the four pillars of how to sell your vehicle for the most money possible so you can make the easiest sale possible and save yourself a lot of hassle. So let's get to the next video. Reconditioning is the first pillar to a good sale. You need to, in my opinion, take your car, take it to a professional detail shop. Here in Montana, it costs anywhere from $150 to $250. It might be a little bit more where you are. It might be a little bit less, but that money is the best money you possibly can spend when you are trying to sell your car. A clean, nice vehicle is going to represent itself a lot better than one that you did by yourself. Now I understand that not everybody has the resources, so if you don't, it's okay. Go down to AutoZone or I'll put a link in the description to some of the products that I use. Do the best job you can, get your car as clean as possible so it presents itself as best as possible. Remember, it's kind of like a first date. When the people walk up to that car the first time, you want them to love it from the minute they walk up and see it. Pillar number two, research. You have to know what your vehicle is worth and I hear it all the time. Well, Kelly Blue Book says, well, this book says, well, that's great. I mean, that's fine because the books are a guide. They will give you kind of an idea, but you have to realize that if you're selling a car that Kelly's Blue Book says the car is worth a, a whole lot of money, but there are 300 of those cars for sale in your marketplace right now today, it's probably not gonna bring the highest number that the book says because there's so much competition for your vehicle in your local area. So, first thing I do, I do book the vehicles out. I use NADA, I don't use Kelly because I don't think Kelly is very accurate. But you can use Kelly, get an average of the two. The next thing I do is I go on Craigslist and Facebook and I look up for cars that are similar to mine with similar miles and I look to see what they are asking for the car. Remember, asking and selling are completely different things. You can ask whatever you want for a car, but it's truly what you can sell a car for that's the most important. Third is I go and I look on the websites of the local dealers and see what they are asking for their vehicles. Then I take all that data I wrote down maybe 15 or 20 examples that are close to my vehicle and that's how I come up with what I should start asking for my car. Pillar number three, repair. So after you've got your car cleaned up, it's looking really good, you kind of have an idea what the car should sell for, now you need to go and take your own vehicle and have it inspected. Take it to some place that will inspect a car, get a pre-purchase inspection on your own, it's gonna cost you $50 probably, and have a mechanic look at your vehicle and tell you what kind of condition it's in. Because that will give you an idea of what's gonna happen when somebody else goes and wants to buy your car and takes it to a mechanic and tries to find out the condition. If you know in advance that you have a bad wheel bearing, then you can decide, do I fix the wheel bearing? Do I adjust the price accordingly or what? Because that problem is going to come out in the sale and it's going to cost you a lot more money to fix a small problem up front than it is to discount the car in order to get someone to buy it. So that is a huge, huge benefit. Know exactly what's going on with your vehicle before somebody else takes it to mechanic and has somebody else tell you what it is and it's a big surprise to you. All right guys, we are almost finished. In the last video, I am going to go over the actual retail marketing of your car. So now that you've got it all ready to go, you're 
uh, reconditioning is done, your research is done, your repairs are done. The next video I'm going to talk about how to actually go about marketing your car, selling it for the most money that you can. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. But once again, if you have any questions, comments, or if you'd like me to explain something a little better for you, just go ahead and hit me up in the comments. I'd love to be able to help you.